Hey, welcome back to Scarner Exotics. Today may not be about animals, but may be about what we're putting in them, them, in. Don't put things in your intro. So, if you're UK based, and if my analytics are correct, 98% of you are, so... <laughs> You should know about Mantis Den. Uh, Mantis Den's a fantastic little site on there. Uh, supplied me with loads of mantids in the past and scorpions and crypt. Lots of stuff. Check it all out. From there, he started making his own vips. And I should, hopefully, have two in here. We're going to review them, see what they're all about. Hopefully they're good. Otherwise, this is going to be a, a really horrible, horrible thing. <laughs> They should, if my sizes are correct or my measurements are correct, replace just in here. So actually we should get them in shot most of the time as well. Oh, we got, what have we got? Instructions, instructions, yeah. Oh no, what am I gonna do with these? Oh no, let's get a cricket tub. One. One, two, cool. Right, so what we're going to be doing here is effectively putting it together, showing you how it's done just in case. Ugh, let's do it. Trusty knife! Okay. We got. Oh, Christ, nice mesh. Oh, I get it. I've, I, I haven't even looked at the instructions yet, I'm like working out in my head. I get it. Huh, no. Clever answer. Don't tip everything out on the table. Um, you probably could have waited for that. Right, so. Instructions, one page, two page. Mantis turn. Let's see how easy this is to put together. And when I say easy to put together, I'm hoping anyway, I don't know. I'm gonna put my little stop clock part here. I don't even know if that's gonna show up. Let's see, let's see how it goes. So I'll tell you exactly, 15 by 15 by 20. Start, let's do it. Remove protective film on all pieces. This is actually my favorite part with anything. I love taking off the protective film. Oh no, oh no, I'm not gonna be able to. Oh no, oh my stubby little fingers. Oh no, I shouldn't have started the clock. Why did I start the clock? Why, 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 why? Yes. Mm. Oh no. Oh yeah. One. Right, it's one thing that I've learned from previous is try not to touch any of it. The less that you can get your grubby fingers on it, the better. I'll be honest, this isn't the best way of doing it. Um, I hate doing it with a knife because you can scratch it. You can very easily scratch perspex. Stop buzzing, I know I'm popular two minutes okay so it's like a minute a piece that's all right i can keep those timings going i'm sure there's an easier way of getting this off good lord oh yes okay eight minutes right okay cool don't need the knife anymore right use four of these what we want we want the base part okay oh they're on the inside parts okay cool these parts will be like a, i don't know an eighth of a sphere. So these are going to be like the parts to it, I guess. You just want to attach them underneath. Yeah. Oh, no, we've got different lengths of screw. Okay. Oh, oh, now we've got the puzzles. Oh, that makes sense. Cool, cool, cool. Right, so let's attach these. You want to do, effectively, corner out. Get your Allen key. Right, so the one thing that I find with um, Perspex is that while you do want to make it tight, don't overdo it. Even something like tightening in a screw a little too much can crack and or shatter so you do want it tight you do want it secure but you don't want to overdo it so just on the screw part of things you've got two different types of screw and while i was going to make a comment about keeping them separate there's only four like four of one type of screw and like god knows how many of the other type of screw so actually it's really easy to <laughs> separate them out it's not an issue at all i thought there was going to be some that had to be on the bottom or something like that you know what, unless something happens, I'm going to skip forward to um, number three. So let's let's do it. So let's pop the larger. So we got two and two, both side pieces, but slightly offset. What that means is I'll have two out like that and two the other way. Let's start screwing that all in. Um, yet again, let's snap forwards to um, number four. I might put like, I don't know, do I do I just speed through this? Do I just put it together? Where are we at? 13 minutes, it's just me rambling, but uh, let's see where I get. 
and we're back a minute and a bit. Next stage, attach the two smaller panels, like I said, to the other side. That is a flush fit, that is nice. Yeah. Oh nice, it's the same it's symmetrical. It doesn't matter which way up that part goes, so actually you could... Oh no, that's a shame. There we go. That's all on. That's actually very nice up in there. Let's get on to the next little part. Attach the two smaller panels. That's already done. Let's get on to the next actual part. Attach the second larger panel to complete the sides. Final larger panel, final larger slot. Perfect. Cool, we have a little frame. Use four M3 six millimeter screws, ooh, to attach the remaining four corner pieces. These parts in, that makes sense. Right, I, I'm, I'm gonna do another little clicky thing because I need, I, I, 18 minutes, right. Clicky, they'll be up in and, and just like that, that's on. Um, wow. Yeah, that went on a lot smoother than I thought it was going to, to be honest. I think honestly, the hardest part has been taking off all of that film. Everything else has been going on really smoothly. Um. Ah, cross ventilation, that's nice. All fours. So you've got eight bands of one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's call it 40. 40 times six. 40 times six. Nope, can't do that. 1920? That's, that's a lot of holes. So yeah, there's cross ventilation. And there's going to be net at the top. So actually, this is going to turn out great. Let's get on to page seven. The line, the grey core. Oh, oh. Did I do that wrong? According to the instructions, I did that wrong. But you know what? I think it still works. So that will be okay. Uh, and then that tucks. Oh, okay. Actually, the illustrated way probably would have been easier. The illustrated way says attach the screws to the top part, then drop it in. That will then be in the correct place, of course, and then you're all up and away. Do I regret the way that I did it? No. Do I think it could have been improved on? Maybe. The way that I'm going to do this, actually, is probably just skewer that straight through and then cut off the excess. Yeah, that's how I'm going to do it. Good thing with this stuff is you can generally just force it through. I know, as you can tell by my stature, I'm a beast of a man. Um, but you should also, with your normal standard puny human strength, uh, be able to get that through. You don't all have to be giant, giant peaks of physical prowess like myself to get that through there. The right part. Yep, that will do for me, actually. Done, all within half hour. I like that. Check it out. A moment of truth, actually. Let's make sure. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. We can get one there. I'll get one pop just next to it as well. That's brilliant. So I guess, ooh, there's a spare screw. That's always good. So let's, without putting anything in there yet, my current review which that's what I'm here to do, is this is amazing. Once I brush that down, get rid of some of the mess that I've made on that. That's really easy to put together, like anybody could. What's that in total? 29 minutes 15. I was rambling for a lot of that. I was finding scissors. I was, <laughs> I was looking at the plant. Quarantine time. We can do whatever. That was actually a really good use of time, actually. Take off the stuff before, just do it. Once you get it, the first thing you should do is just sit down and remove the stuff. If it's vital that you're doing it quickly, you just don't hype yourself up that you're doing that yet, because that does take like 10 minutes or so. Past that, putting it together is mad easy. Perspex has been laser cut, it's bang on. That is crisp along the sides. I really like that. Very easy to put together. Very minimalistic design, so you're not being over encumbered by stuff. I know a lot with the exoterras, you've got the external black on there. This is just minimal corners on an otherwise completely clear case. That's fantastic. For me, the only bit that's missing is just up here, like a little little Scarner Exotics logo, just like, oh, endorsed by. You've got this fantastic Mantis Den one. Brilliant. But there, there's space just here. Just, just there. But no, it's brilliant. Let's see. Let's see what Carla thinks. Carla, what do you think of this? She liked it. Let's fill it with dirt, let's build a second one, and let's put a mantis in there. We have a mantis currently munching on foolishly a cricket, but I don't have any locusts. It's quarantine time. Yeah, I'm talking about you, buddy. I'm gonna pop you in this new viv. Anytime you wanna sponsor me, monster. Anytime. 
There you go. Right, so we've got a Mantis on the lid. You're okay. And there we go. There is our Mantis in its new little home. Happy days. End of review on this one, I guess. Um, it's great. I love it. Um, really easy to put together. Once it's put together, it's very simplistic, very lovely design. Like I say, the only things I think I can improve on would be um, having my endorsement written all over it. Um, it's fantastic. Um, you can see through the amount of cross ventilation is incredible. It's making me want to use it for what it's not meant to, in the sense that this is made for mantids. It's made by Mantis Den for mantises. Part of me wants to put the T. Celadonia into it when it's a bit bigger. So, um, depending on how that all gets, I guess. So, as long as my Celadonia is doing all right, and at the moment she is, because that's this is a perfect little arboreal for smaller teas as well. I know you didn't intend it for tarantulas, but if it works, it works. Look at this ventilator aspirin. It's the ventilation part for me. Any time that I've done perspex in the past, it's just drilling through the holes is painful, absolutely painful. But this just takes all of that effort out of it. So, where are we putting you, buddy? We're putting you right up here. You guys will find a new home in a mo, you can pop yourself up like that. It looks really nice. If you get enough together, the screws pop out a little bit on the sides and the tops of them. So actually where they'll butt up to each other, you can still get the ventilation going between without doing viv to viv. Perfect. Wow, that's, wow. That's brilliant. I know this, like the majority of this review is just me building it and me being like, wow, this is nice. But at the same time, what more do you want from a review really, apart from being like, it holds a creature. It holds them really well. They've got the ventilation that they need. That's gonna hold any good size mantis. You're looking at 20 centimeters up. Most of them, the larger ones, um, peacock mantis, peepina votable, peepina pinna 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 peacocks, pinna peacocks. Um, <laughs> The peacocks, actually, where they're larger, he's still looking at about 12 centimetres esque. Male like him, he's possibly going to be about 8, 8, 9, maybe 10 if he pushes it, but that's going to be a good little viv for him. The pop spurkers that we've got over there, they'll probably end up in there as well. Actually, because I've only got two mantis breeds at the moment. We have one as a peacock and one as a twig mantis. The twig mantises actually came in from mantis den beforehand, so that's perfect. <laughs> They'll end up where they came from, as it were. And so, oh, are you saying hello, buddy? Hello. So yeah, it's a little bit of a different one. Not many animals today, just um, been mainly building. So different, look at that. We're keeping it fresh, we're keeping it new. If you haven't already, check out the Mantis Den website. They've got these on sale on there. Check them out, they're fantastic. They've come quick. I think I put the order in. It's only the other day, actually. I don't even remember. Sent over the weekend. It's Monday today. It's Tuesday today. It was sent yesterday. God knows when it was sent. It was quick. It was over the weekend. I, I can't fault it. Can't fault it at all. Fantastic packaging. Easy to build. But I get to get all that stuff off, isn't it? Uh, if you're using this to build it and you've built it, let me know what you've put in it. Pop in the comments down below what you've used yours for. If it's all mounted, I'd love to know which ones. If it's something else let me know so that's it from us um we've built the enclosure we've got a mantis in there that's what we want isn't it so pop down in the comments down below how easy you found to build yours what you put in there is it a mantis is it something else are you using it how it should are you doing it your own way who knows if you haven't already subscribed down below once you've subscribed tick the like button because you liked this video i don't see why you didn't to be honest check out the instagram scanner exotics everybody's on there you get a nice little bit more of a macro photography feel on there opposed to just the ooh, look at these things check out the patreon links in the description there's no benefit of joining it yet but you know what it'll give you something to do until next time Spread love. Mantis Den love.